I want to tell you about a field of study called omics. Let's begin by looking at the central principle of biology. We know that all living things have DNA, often thought of as a blueprint of life because it contains the instructions an organism needs to grow and reproduce. In order to survive, organisms turn DNA into protein. Studying a large number of these molecules is an efficient way to research biology. When working with DNA, we call it genomics. And when working with proteins, we call it proteomics. You'll start to hear a pattern here, which is why we call the collective study of these molecules omics. By using omics, we get a clear idea of how organisms are built, as well as their hidden genetic potential. You can think of genomics as studying the blueprints to try to understand how a house is constructed, and proteomics as trying to understand how the roof, walls, floors, and doors make up a house. However, it has been quite some time since the discovery of DNA and proteins, and so the field of omics has heavily evolved and expanded. My project at the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences investigates how Arctic bacterial communities influence climate change through this omics method called metagenomics. In environmental metagenomics, we often work with soil or water samples that could contain many different kinds of bacteria. If we go back to our blueprint analogy, we can think of metagenomics like trying to study blueprints for multiple buildings that make up a neighborhood or a town, instead of one blueprint for a single house. I'm using metagenomics to study the genetic potential of the whole bacterial community from Arctic soils looking for characteristics linked to global warming to help understand how they might influence the climate. For more information on my project, please visit the Emerson Lab page on the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences website. My name is Kenny, and this is Sea Sketches. Thank you.